Hi, my name is Paris Higgins and I just want to share my story real quick before I get actually started on this anti-bullying video. Well, I was, so I'll just tell you a quick little thing that just happened. I messaged this person on Facebook and I was like, hey, just trying to be nice. And they're like, I'm friend me, nigga. Peace like okay and peace and stuff like that I was like well first I ain't no nigga and my pleasure and so I unfriended them they called me a fag ass boy I'm not no boy but I was like I'm a girl the fuck so, I don't know. I mean, that really hurt me. I mean, it's still hurting me and stuff. That's why I decided to actually follow through with this bullying video. So, I have a list of facts and quotes about bullying, and I'm going to read them. Because they really touched my heart, and there shouldn't be any bullies. I mean, I used to be a bully myself, and I don't like it. That's why I'm doing this video. And hopefully you guys can see it from a bird's point of view. Or a dog point of view. Alright, so, bullying kills. Do you want to be that one who hurt someone that bad that they go home and they kill themselves and you have to live with that regret for the rest of their life? Or for the rest of your life, I mean. Because I know I don't. Estimate, it's estimated that about 160,000 children miss school every day. Because they're afraid they are going to get attacked or intimidated by their peers at school. That's so terrible. That's so sad. Come on now. American schools have around... 2.1 million bullies and 2.7 million kids that get bullied. I was on both ends before. I mean, I don't like either end. I don't believe in bullying anymore. And I don't believe in getting bullied. I mean, it's just not right. Uh, okay. One out of seven students in grades kindergarten through 12th grade is either a bully or is being bullied. I know that from experience. 56% of students have witnessed and was just a bystander of bullying. If you're just going to be that bystander, bystander of bullying and that person gets hurt, you're just in as much trouble as a bully. So come on. Guys, let's take a stand. Stand up for what we know is right. Stand up to the bully. Even if you're not the one getting bullied. Stand up and be like, hey man, that's not cool. Or go and tell someone. Go get a couple of your friends and be like, get all together and be like, hey, that's really not cool. And if they don't listen to you, go get an adult. Don't feel like you're being a snitch or anything. Because you might be the one to save that person's life that's getting bullied. And if you're just being the bystander... You never know what's going to happen. And then you're going to have to just keep thinking for the rest of life. Well, what if I would have done something? Or are they okay? Or something like that, you know? 15... Sorry, I'm outside and the cards are out of my... 15% of people being absent to school is due to bullying. Trust me, I almost dropped out my senior year. Because I was getting bullied and I got punched in the lip. I don't know if you can see the scar tissue. <laughs> see the white stuff right there? Right there? Yeah, it was deep. I had to get stitches. It wasn't fun. I was fighting for my life. I was scared. One out of 20 students have seen a peer with the, at school with a gun. Holy cow, that just blows my mind. Like, 
and they're too scared to say anything because they don't want to get hurt or shot. Don't blame you. But we need to start telling people what's going on. Bullying, say, bullying statistics say revenge. Revenge is the strongest motivation for school shootings. Okay. Um, I really don't know what to say on that one. I mean, it's kind of scary to think about it. It really is. One out of every ten students who drop out of school does it because of bullying. I had a best friend who dropped out of school because she was getting bullied. I don't know if she was able to come back or not, but I got into a fight with my ex-girlfriend because she was the one bullying my best friend. And yes, I'm bisexual. You can judge me. I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. I mean, I am who I am and I'm not going to change for anyone. Harassment and bullying have been linked to 75% 75, 75 of school shooting incidents. Just, come on guys, let's stop the bullying now. Please. In 2005, this hit me the hardest. In 2005, 207 children from ages 10 to 14 killed themselves due to bullying. That's crazy. My little sister is around that age. And I don't want to see her go through that. It's just crazy because I don't want to see anyone go through that. Alright, uh. Have you ever heard this saying? Hurting people hurt people. I have a uh, little birdie told me that once. So thanks little birdie. Alright, here's a couple quotes I got from Demi Lovato off the internet. I don't know her personally. I wish. <laughs> She's so gorgeous. She's been through the same stuff that a bunch of rare well she regular teenager person but she's been through a bunch of stuff that non-famous people have been through so I enjoy that well I don't enjoy that she's been through rough times but I enjoy that she's can understand okay her first thing says people don't realize how badly verbal harassment and cyberbullying affects you to that Facebook user who was picking on me earlier I mean what would you do if I was just like, okay, you know what, yeah, you're right. And then I was like, and I killed myself. Would you feel bad? Probably. Probably not. I don't know. I can't speak for you. I mean, I know if I would have said that to someone, I would be apologizing, bawling my eyes out, making sure they were okay and didn't hurt themselves. Uh, yeah. So, so harassment and cyberbullying affects you. I wish it would have just hit me in the face and got it over with. Because what they said to me sticks to me to this day. It affected me into the person I am today. Love Demi Lovato. And then the last quote that I'm going to say is by her too. The American lie doesn't show what's inside and it, it can tell you're full of life. It's amazing what you can hide just by putting on a smile. Love Demi Lovato. So, I mean, I've been through a lot too. Everyone has. I mean, you, your pride might be really up and stuff, but come on, that's just pride. You, everyone knows that everyone's been going through stuff. And, uh, my door, sorry. 